the, crazy. But what? But God, what I call God and Allah, are they are they in the Muslim religion this one and the same? I've come together with the one on my charity, which is a 100% donation policy and do amazing work around the world. This winter, brothers and sisters, help to feed those who are in poor conditions and who don't even have a clothing to keep themselves warm. Your small donation might mean nothing to you, but it can change their life and help them survive the winter this year. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. This is a message to Sony Faz, I think that's what his name is, and his mother. Um, if they're watching this, I hope you, both of you guys are well, uh, hopefully. Uh, I was going to do the video with my mom actually, but she's away in Turkey. I thought my mom and myself to you guys. Uh, inshallah, but anyways, um, there was a message, there was a video that I was watching and in that video, your dear mother, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide her and guide us all inshallah, she said that um, is Allah and God the same thing? Crazy. But, what, but God, what I call God and Allah, are they, are they in the Muslim religion, this one and the same? Allah and God? I don't know. Isn't Allah the and the, so Isn't Allah the, the Christians one? and Jews believe in the same God. We just have different interpretations of Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Then Muhammad comes along. What, what are we saying? Around 600 years later? And yeah, it was 600. And he's, he's spitting all these, Muhammad's spitting all these other facts. Spitting all these facts. But it has to be from the same God. They have to be the one and the same. Not sure. So I just wanted to make this message uh, to just clarify a few things. That number one, that God Almighty, yes, we believe, we call him Allah, the, the one true God. Um, and we believe that this God Almighty, uh, that we believe in Allah, um, there is not many religions. We believe there was one religion that was sent to people from the Prophet Adam to today, that was sent to different nations, different tribes, to call them to the main core message of the worship of one God alone and that many prophets were sent to call their nations because their nations would go and worship idols and other things and that these prophets came to call them back to the worship of one God because if you think about it, uh, Sony, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's not a Sony camera, Sony yeah? So basically if you think about it and if your mom's watching this, um, my dear, um, I'll just refer to you as auntie out of respect, um, I mean you're a young uh, woman, uh, just out of respect here. Yeah. So basically if you think about it, just imagine for a second that you gave birth to Sonny, yeah? Please forgive me for pronouncing her name wrong, yeah? You gave birth to your son. You brought him up all the way. You looked after him, you catered for him, you nourished him, you nurtured him, and he comes to an age where he's 18 years old, and he turns around and says to you, you have done nothing for me. I don't know you. I'm going to go and thank that person or that woman across the road, or whatever it may be. As a mother, how would you feel? You would feel betrayed. You would see ingratitude in him. You'd be like, why would you do that to me? I've done so much for you, you'd be so hurt as Muslims. The point that, God, well, the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is to call people back to the, un the worship of one God. Now you might be thinking, how does that relate? Because just imagine that God Almighty has created us. He sustains us. He's created the heavens and the earth. Everything, the entire universe, the galaxies. And we turn around and we thank, we go and say, we're going to go and worship Muhammad peace be upon him. Or we're going to go and worship Jesus or Moses. This is the greatest blasphemy. It's the greatest blasphemy. That's why Allah tells us in the Quran to tell the people of the book, yourself and your son, come, let us come to common terms between us and you that we worship no other than God. So the point as Muslims we're seeing and we love Jesus and I can remember in one video you said to your son, are you going to turn your back on Jesus? I think he would truly find Jesus when it comes to Islam because the Jesus of Islam, uh, peace be upon him, is that he was somebody who worshipped God alone. Even if you read the Bible, what does it say? Hear, O Israel. This is Jesus speaking to the Israelites. Hear, O Israel, your Lord God is one God. He doesn't say three in one. He doesn't say the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He said one God. So for us, the greatest blasphemy is to go and ascribe partners to God and give the credit of God, what he does for us, and say, I'm going to worship Jesus. Or I'm going to worship this prophet. Or I'm going to worship the Holy Spirit. We say this is the great, the greatest blasphemy. So in a nutshell, God, Allah, the true God, with his attributes, we worship him and him alone. So we affirm that he is the sovereign. He is the uh, one who controls our affairs, number one. So we affirm his, we single him out in his lordship. And number two, we single him out in his worship, meaning that when we pray to him, we do not go through Prophet Muhammad. We do not go through other prophets or anyone. We ask him Alone. I was wondering today, what are some similarities? What commonalities do we have? And and, I, and I'm seeing them now. So there are commonalities. No, 100%. There's a ton of common commonalities between the two religions. I want to know all of them. I know. Well, we're going to keep watching. You guys, the people of the book, the Christians, you're close to us. Because Allah says in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, 
ليسوا سواء من أهل الكتاب أمة قائمة يتلون آيات الله آناء الليل وهم يسجدون that the people of the book are not the same. There are those who worship and believe in God and pray at night. So God Almighty is telling us that the people of the book are not the same. Yes, we have some Christians who are hostile towards us, but there are people, lovely people like yourself, who are not. And guess what? We can marry from you. We can um, even eat from like the meat that you slaughter. If it's a Christian country, we have so many similarities. The only thing that Islam says is that let's worship God alone and single him out in his worship and affirm his lordship. And don't give the names and attributes of God Almighty by saying Jesus was... Uh, the all-knowing or what we're just saying is he was a mighty prophet mighty messenger we love him and no muslim can be a muslim if they don't believe in jesus but we do not increase him to a level where we say he's god because that's blasphemy and believe me in the bible it also says that on that on that day many people will come to me and say lord lord did we not prophesy in thy name and in thy name cast out demons jesus will say get away from me i do not know you why because jesus never asked any of his followers to claim to, for him to be seen as divine or God Almighty. He always praised God. When the man came and said to him, Oh good master, what must I do? He said, Why do you call me good? There is only one good, and that is God alone. That's all I wanted to say to your dear mother, if she's watching this and yourself. Uh, may God guide you guys, inshallah. You seem like a lovely individuals. And that's all I can say. If you have any questions, I know you guys are doing a, a podcast with free, the, the free Muslims. Uh, that's going to be amazing. I'll be looking forward to that, inshallah. But it'll be really nice that, inshallah, if you have any questions, Feel free to contact me or the brothers at Free Muslim, inshallah. Um, that's all I have to say. And that is the message of Islam, that we worship God alone and we obey the final prophet and the final messenger. We have the Old Testament, the New Testament and the final testament, which is the Quran. And by the way, the final testament is not the books that you have today. We believe, we believe in Jesus was given to Jesus, peace be upon him. And that's it. Hope you guys are well. And so next time, hope you, this video clarifies in a nutshell what we as Muslims uh, believe. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.